about to go national. We already Shite national. Hood. We have to national. Shy town. Yes, sir. Soundtrack, what's poppin', baby? Um. Y'all ain't know. I go by the name of Lupe Fiasco. Yo, what's, what's the media attention like for you so far? Insane. Super insane. I don't even be telling my mama, like, I'll get the cover or something. <laughs> I don't even know it. I'm like, yo, mama, check this out. I don't even tell my mama. Kid Kush came from, there's a skate shop right up the street called Uprise. The kid works in there named Ken. When I got back into skating, he was putting my board together. And he was just telling me about what skateboarding meant to him and the whole thing. I was just like, yo, somebody should tell this story. And so that's how Kid Kush came out. Skater die, son. I really did it for their skate DVD. And um, that's why I was like central around skateboarding, because it was more about the beat, that you like skate to the beat. And I was just like, yo, I gotta put something to the beat. So I was just like, okay, I'm just put this story about skateboard. Check it out, uh. First got it when he was six, didn't know any tricks. Matter of fact, first time he got on it, he slipped. Landed on his hip and busted his lip. For a week, he had to talk with a list like this. Well, I was just in San Francisco, son, with um, Huff. Sick, man. Trying to get me to skate them damn hills. I was gonna say, Javama Hill? No. It's scary, right? Yo, man, yo. It was scary to drive down. It was like you drive, it's like you're on a roller coaster. He's like, oh, you want me to get on this board, huh? With these wheels on it, with no seat belt or anything, and just fly down this hill with no brakes, huh? Sure. Damn the hills of San Francisco. I never thought that it would be like this. Like, four years ago, I never thought I would have had a song like Kick Push. You know what I'm saying? Speaking to that and making the records that I'm making. Day to day, man, it's hectic, hectic song. Shot town, back home for a respite. Phew, been crazy past two weeks. We did the Kick Push remix with Pharrell. We shot the video to that in LA last week. That's Bishop in there. They want to talk to you. Bishop takes care of all his personal sensualizations, trying to get him to go to London. We called our um. A little snag in the plans, trying to get him to London. So we're trying to get it worked out now so he can grab his passport. So we're going over there and experience that. First time out the country, you know? And I got him traveling everywhere with me now. Little kid that I like, all the uh, MCing and rapping and stuff that I do now came from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's an inspiration for me wanting to rap and being a rapper. This is Juke! When me and Bishop first met, it was a bully situation. <laughs> we was finna fight. Remember the first studio, though? Yup, I remember everything. Wow. That shit lasted two days. <laughs> so my grandma was like, y'all got to get up out of here. What did you do me food and liquor, son? Let's count for food and liquor signs, too. So people don't think I'm lying. That's one. Y'all should have one of the little calendars at the bottom of the screen, like right here. Yeah, let's count the food and liquor signs on our way out west. This is where I write too. This is where I do a lot of my writing in the car, in this seat right here. The car is really like, a, it's like enclosed. It's like a coffin of music, son. And I'm just in here, you know, buried alive. And, and this is where my, my, a lot of my ideas and stuff flow. And when you, and when you in motion, you kind of think better. When you in motion, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it can be a bane because it's too many. It'd be so many distractions. And then, Whoa, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? See that? Distractions. <laughs> Did you see how mouth say what the f I got one right here, I knew it was one. Certified. Food and liquor right there. That's two. So three. Yeah, three right here. Three. Bing! I got Right there. I got one. Food and liquor. I'm not making it up, son. All the stores in Chicago are called food and liquor. And so is my album. Came all the way out here for this restaurant right here. A Halal KFC A&W root beer. For y'all that don't know me, I'm Muslim. And <laughs> I try and only eat Halal food. I don't eat no pork. And so Halal is like, um, 
halal is the way the animals kill, kind of like culture. It's actually zabiha halal. It's kind of how the animal is like slaughtered, slaughtered by hand and said prayer over. And so it ain't that many like fast food restaurants that like do that in the in the states. Man, so how'd you find out all that? It's on the internet. You know, when you be, when you in that Muslim community, it just be around. You know, be floating. How you doing? Can I get a um? Can I get an A1, a Mountain Dew, a breast, a large mashed potato, two Papa Burgers? Actually, let me get another A1. A Papa one, huh? And let me get a um, uh, another just regular Papa Burger with no cheese, just a burger. Mm. Thank you. Should have got a fish sandwich. They, they were showing something, Dan, what's his name? Dan, um, not Dan Quill. Al Gore. Oh, Al Gore. Yeah. It wasn't New Zealand. It was something in the area, though. Know, and if it melted, that it's going to make the, the uh, water all around the world rise up by 20 feet. And I'm like, yo, this is out here gangbanging, talking all this dumb shit about who album, blah, blah. I'm like, the world is about to end. You don't understand. This is melting and water is going to be this high over your <laughs> You're going to drip. You need to be enjoying your life and doing other shit other than what you're thinking about. Because this world is out of here. Global warming. It's getting hot. It's been hot. It's been hot. I got a ring for my birthday. It was the, the last diamonds I had. The first diamonds I had in years. I used to be flooded. But like, I was just like, why? Even when I had like all my diamond trinkets, I was like, yo, why do people like shiny objects? That's all it is. You can do nothing with it. It serves no purpose. But I've been through it. I went through it. I was flooded in diamonds at one point. You know, just be like, I'm done. The attention, the... Then I felt stupid. Just got a dose of day in the life, you know, small piece in the life of, you know, Lupe Fiasco and what I'm doing. There's a story going around that hip-hop is back.